So we are here for the NCAA Beach Volleyball Weapon Rally. These are the championships. Some beach volleyball is not super, super televised. Like regular volleyball is. Um, like men's. Women's volleyball is more occasionally televised on. Yet. On like ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN U. SC Network, AC Network, as well as the conference networks. In FS1, FS2. It's more commonly televised on like. And it is also on streaming for some of the smaller conferences. You know, it is more commonly televised, but um, men's level is on like regional sports networks or like ESPN Plus, stuff like that. So it is common. Or you have it on like Big Ten or on, like conference networks with Big Ten Network or Big Ten Network Plus. But, um, Beach Rainbow is not super commonly televised. It might, unless it's like on streaming, and, you know, but for the conference tournaments, a lot of the schools, you know, for conference tournaments, they don't normally air their, they, I mean, these games may not be on ESPN Plus. Like the schools like ASIN, their volleyball matches for a regular season may not be on ESPN Plus, I think they might be on school websites. Instead of being on school website, you know, they're on ESPN Plus for the championships. So we have the ASUN going on right now. That's starting at 9 Eastern. We have the OBC that's starting at... The OBC started at 10 Eastern, close to 10 Eastern. And the Sun Belt it's in CC8. In CC... SA that started at uh in East okay. And we are in the first round here of the first match. The first pairing. We have Benson and Hardy versus Goyan over oh, is Mercer Bears and the college in College of Charleston. Both these teams are normally not in the sun but Mercer is normally in the SoCon, and College of Charleston is normally in the Coastal Athletic Association. However, however, in sports like beach volleyball, you know, not every school has a beach volleyball program. Not every school in the NCAA has beach volleyball, and not enough members, maybe not enough members of certain schools you know, like certain conferences have beach volleyball. Have beach volleyball, so they'll, um, you know, just join another conference specifically for like beach volleyball. They just have like a beach volleyball only, like symbol conference. You know, or they'll just have like a beach, or they'll have like a ho hockey is pretty common, like the hockey only conferences. You know, like, with, you know, like, with schools that are commonly in that conference, you know, and that'll be not every single member of that conference. You know, it's traditionally in like all in like all your big names for it's like football, basketball, baseball, softball, that type of thing. You know, or even football and basketball are two big sports every school almost has. You know. Yeah, let's go to the let's go to the OVC championship. We got a good one here on court one. Erzin, how was it? And Powell, nineteen, and we got Wyman and Murray, sixteen. Here in these OVC championships, and there is a point. And it's hosted by Moorhead State. By the sand courts at Moore. By the innocent in the beach level courts. 
at more need a more head either at more head seat university or need a more head seat university. Prove in the game or even how tired you are and how much you've been in the sand to that one wall, so the Gold Eagles pulled within one over there. This is Powell. Drops it. Wyman able to find it. Marino will set Wyman. Powell on the block. Another good cut shot there from Wyman. She ties things. Correction, she moves it to within one here on court one. On court two, it's tied up at 20. As Wogenstall can't get that one to go down. And we're really kind of seeing a reversal of what we talked about at the beginning of this. Ones, twos, and threes matchup is you know, the twos and threes from Tech won their first sets. And the ones lost them in the first two times these teams have met up. Well, the threes have already lost their first set. Morehead State goes back up by one over here on the twos. And the ones are sitting up in their set. So if you look over on court two for this play by Wogenstall. Just had a lot of court to play with there. Yes, she did. Able to also create space by having that ball on the right side of the court. What a touch shot there by Roberts to pull Tennessee Tech back to within a tie here. 21-21 as they make the changeover. It's 20-19 in favor of Tech here on court one as they're getting ready to get back underway over on court three. We're into the second set. It's Isley on the attack. And she's able to put that one away. It's 2-2 early on there. Tied at 21 on court number two. Boom, with the service over and gets the ace. That is a great way to move into the confidence. Hefner could not get over to it. When she shot her platform super late, was able to get her shoulder around that ball. We got two set points for Tech now on one and two. Here is Powell. Pulls it over. Off the net, Marita Powell gets to it over on court two. It's Wogenstall on the attack, pushes it over, boom. This one gets over court one. Tech able to come away with the set victory, 21-19 there. And Tech takes it over there on court number two as well, 23-21. So now it moves over to the all-important court number three right now is Tech trailing one set to nothing. Eamon gets that one off of Hargan. Punch it over after Isley tracked him down. Nice set there over by Jones to pick up the points. And Tech moves ahead 4-3 at the crossover. And again, you have to remember that she had to be squared to where she wanted the ball. So you see her shoulders are directly in line with where she wants that ball to go over on the other side of the court. And so she is legally allowed to do that. She didn't go over her shoulders. She went directly above her head, and that is a legal play. And it's crafty, and that's exactly what Tennessee Tech needs right now. Well, in, in indoor, you have the, the center dunk, yep. in a sense. And that's kind of what that is here yes. in beach volleyball. It's, it's still technically a center dump, but... Because you only have two players out there, you don't necessarily have a specific setter, but it's just a smart play. As long as you line yourself up correctly, yes. then it's a very tricky play for a team to have to contend with. As another point picked up there, this time by Moorhead State, as they tie things up at four. It's one and two are in their set timeout, as back to serve is Emmy Hargan. Jones, big swing off the net. That's going to go down for a Tennessee Tech point. I believe, I believe the threes are feeling it for Tech. They are feeling the pressure a little bit. They obviously don't know what who really won on, you know, court one and court two. But they do know that they want to give their team a chance. And they're coming out very aggressive in this second set. Well, already knowing that you trail two to nothing in this duel, you know you have to win in order for your team to even have a shot. So yes. it doesn't matter what's going on on courts one and two. You need to win your matchup if it continues to continue like it is in order for you to find a way to win this one. So we're back underway on court number one as well. Powell rising up for the attack and the kill. We're on court number three. That one goes down again for Tech. They've moved ahead seven to four. Powell will be back to serve here on court one. 
Where two getting ready to get back underway as well. That drop shot by Wyman goes out of play. Tech moves ahead 2 0. Jones with the service over on court number three. Hargan setting Isley. She tries to cut shot across the way. That one's going to go out of play again. Another point for Tech. So early on in this second set, they're doing exactly what they need to do. And we are here in the and we have the C C S N A in some of which you're watching. Yeah, now we're you're seeing Volga and Zwet against Amara and Pat. 15 13 here too. There is not where it's on ESPN plus where you get to see every pair, every court at the same time, every matchup at once. It's not like that, you know. You only get to see Pacific courts at Pacific times. If you're not watching, like, but sometimes they show it like this one, they show it. one screen had all their courts. Huh? when you're diving because you're going to hit the ground hard and so that sand provides a little bit of a cushion but because in sand you can kind of move the sand in order to get your hand underneath the ball sometimes you get caught in that sand and it bends your wrist back which is never never a fun thing to have experience to we're going to have a timeout here on court number one is the athletic trainer for Tennessee Tech coming over to take a quick look at Bella Powell over on course two and three it's 2 2 on court 2, 9 5, now a 9 6 lead in favor of Tech on court number 3. As Boom picks up the point for the Golden Eagles over on court number 2. As we see Powell kind of getting looked at there, it's still kind of grabbing that wrist. And as she was kind of walking off, you saw. She was kind of motioning how it happened. It almost was like, you know, an underhand toss. Her hand gets caught, and it got caught. But she does, she did kind of jump up a little bit afterwards. You can tell she was a little slow getting up, but just kind of shaking it off as the ref now coming over to take a quick look. Back on courts two and three were underway. It's one thing that with you know, in an injury, your adrenaline's going, so maybe you don't notice it as much, but when you take a second, you have to reevaluate how how hurt am I, or is this just a fluke, is it going to go away? We'll take a quick look at that injury there, as you'll see right there, oh yeah, oh, yeah it just kind of got caught in the sand there. She looked up right away, I know, but she's back out on the court now, we'll see how that affects her going on the rest of the way. Back over on court three, a big swing there by Amon. Ends a little bit of an Eagles run. Tennessee Tech back up 10 to eight, and right on cue, Moorhead State serving Powell to see what she's got, and she gets a good swing on that one. Now Marita tries to send it over. She can't, that's four touches, and a point for Tennessee Tech. Over on court two, Tech holding a 4-3 lead. That one's sent to the back. Roberts able to get there, boom, up with it. Roberts can't get it off the net. A point for the Eagles. Isley into the net over on court number three. Extends that lead out for Tech to 11 to 8. Back on court one. Marita sends it over to Powell. Drop shot catches the tape there. And Bella Powell, no worse for the wear there. She's picked up a couple points here for Tech after the timeout. Over on court three. Tech is starting to feel a little bit with Jones and Heyman. It's 12 to 8 now in favor of the Golden Eagles. A must win second set for them. Isringhausen sends that one over. And Wyman cannot pick that one up as it was too tight to the net. And a service ace for Isringhausen. Tech picks up another point over on court number two. They tie things up at five now. Isley with the drop shot. Wow. What a play there by Jones to get that one over. Another good play by Amon to get that one to stay alive. Jones again this time can't punch it up enough. And point for Moorhead State. We're seeing that second contact over off the pass a lot, a lot more than I was expecting to begin this tournament. And at right now it's been working. It's been catching teams off guard. It's really forcing teams to respect that second contact. Boom puts that serve off the tape. Wogenstall on the attack. Big block there by Skyler Boom. 
And she picks up a point for Tennessee Tech. And you know, what a name for a volleyball player. Skylar Boom. We talked about it last year. It was so much fun. And she just proved again exactly why that last name is perfect for volleyball. A big time block for Skylar Boom. She was able to drop her, her left shoulder just a little bit to take that angle away last minute and force that block. And give Tech a little bit more confidence, a little bit more drive to win, even though they already know they have to win. Powell got a touch on that one on court one off the attack from Marita. Not enough, and Morehead able to pull to within two. It's a 7-6 lead for the Golden Eagles over on court number two. As we see Shea Hefner going back to serve. Hefner, a redshirt sophomore. Service over, and M.K. Roberts gets it over for the point. As both within one here on court number one as well. Marita will go back to serve. Isringhausen on two. Marita wow. diving play gets it over. And Isringhausen can't provide her teammate an opportunity to attack that one. And Marita picks up a big point there for the Eagles. And they tie things up. These smaller defenders are very good at reading these plays and are able to get a good controlled single arm contact touch on this, uh, on these plays. And it's just amazing. It makes you really respect the game as much as possible because it takes a lot to go across the court and make that play. Big swing there from Powell to pick up that attack. And going back to, to Bell Marita, and yeah, we talked about the fact she's a freshman, but she got a chance to take part in the ABCA Fall Beach Pairs Championships at the start of this year. And she got to face off against UAB, Tampa, and national title match contender UCLA. That's a heck of a way to start your season <laughs> off. And, you know, you're already seeing that that experience has paid off for her as she's moved up to the ones here for Moorhead State. And really, her defense has been phenomenal early on. Lyman. Catches a little too much of that one and sends it long. And point four Tech puts them back up by two. Over on court number three, it's down to a two-point lead for Tennessee Tech. As they're up 13 to 11 there. Tech holds a 9-8 lead over on court two. It's Emmy Hargan back to serve for the Eagles on court three. Jones setting up Amon into the Nets. Another point for the Eagles over on court two. Wogenstahl dropped it off of the touch of Boone go down to tie things up at nine apiece. One you have to be keeping an eye on here, though, is court number three as Morehead State holding the one to set, one nothing set lead. They also have a 2 nothing dual lead 